Well, uh, <laughs> I don't know what I was saying. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Honorability Time. This is a bonus episode, a spontaneous episode. There was just something that I was thinking about, and it's been so on my fucking mind. Blows my mind. So when we're talking romantic relationships, right? Yes, being healthy as a person is so praised but no one talks about the loneliness and isolation that can come with it you know once you you know start to love yourself more know your worth learn your worth learning your worth um because it can definitely be a process you know once you um finally can look at yourself in the mirror and say wow i am healthy you start to you know, um, catch red flags easier. You start to, um, not put up with, or not even entertain or go forward with, um, someone who's not at that level yet, you know, um, and that can get kind of lonely. You know, no one talks about that burden with it. You know, almost everything, um, comes with some type of price, And, you know, and it's just like, honestly, at least for me, it's kind of like, okay, yes, it it can be such a burden being healthy, you know, it can come with the price. However, how much price am I willing to pay? Am I willing to pay a higher price by being unhealthy and or putting up with you know, a person who is literally a red flag, a walking red flag, um, which price is, is more costly, is more expensive. Um, obviously, you know, being healthy and not entertaining or allowing that red flag to come further, um, is such a less price. Um, and so it's kind of like pick your poison but at the same time the healthy isn't really the poison it just kind of feels like a poison sometimes it can be a double-edged sword but at least like it 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 has hope um and has more of a better future than you know um the walking red flags that a person can be um let's be honest and also I don't know if y'all have experienced this but have you ever been told that you were too great or too good for someone by the person that you're wanting to pursue or pursuing romantically you know I know a lot of people can choose um um tragedy or toxicity over tranquility um, because they know how to handle the toxic. That's all they experience. And they can be a great person, but they've just experienced a committed relationship or a quote unquote committed relationship that um, was just toxic. They might not have been the toxic person, but the other person was toxic to them. Um, So therefore, the next relationship, healthy can be scary. You know, people can let their fear, you know, um, run them away from being loved, from being worthy. You know, it can, they can miss out on the greatest love in the world because of fear. Because of fear. Um, When all you've seen is red flags, a green flag can definitely be scary because it's not your normal and it sucks for people who are on the tranquil side. It sucks for the green flags because they believe in this person who doesn't believe in themselves. And when someone doesn't believe in themselves, this doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes, you know, it scares them that someone believes in them. They don't know how to take it. And that can honestly, when you've experienced that consistently, when you're the person who believes in the other person, um, you're as well going to experience some type of loss or frustration 
as is the other person will. Now they might not necessarily know what fu- they might not necessarily know fully what they're missing out on. But I mean, they're missing out. Um, but for you, it hurts, especially when you're aware, you're enlightened, you're self-aware, you're healing or, you know, you're healed or you're at a great place now. You know, it can definitely be frustrating. And um, it's kind of like, damn, it's kind of like lonely up here. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like isolating up here. But at the same time, like, you know, because maybe you've been there once upon a time so it's like you know now that you're aware and enlightened and that you can see what you couldn't see before you know that that's not a good place for me to be either so it's kind of like damn I feel stuck but like I'd rather be healthy than not be i rather have a tranquility than toxicity you know, but it just seems like there's more options in the toxicity <laughs> because it's just so many people, either they are that toxic or they just experience the toxic and they don't know how to experience the healthy just yet. Um, so it can just kind of be, it can definitely be frustrating, but you know, folks, I hope that you, as well as myself, come across that person who, you know, will be on the other side of fear um, or will be on the other side, made it to the other side uh, and into tranquility and allow you and allow each other to just love each other. See, something that I learned, something that, um, something that um, trauma had taught me uh, and just all this stuff has taught me is that sometimes everything you've ever wanted is right on the other side of everything you were afraid to do. Or everything you ever wanted is right on the other side of everything you never wanted to do. Sometimes you just gotta let yourself be loved. You gotta let yourself be scared because the fear don't last forever. The fear don't last forever. You're worth the love, whether you believe it or not. And so if you're on the other side of this and you're afraid of tranquility, understandable, understandable. Just be encouraged to know that you are worth the love. Let someone love you. You you will learn to get used to it. You got to get used to it. Nothing happens overnight. You got to get used to it. Stick in with them. Stick in with them, okay? They're they're not doing nothing bad to you. They're doing everything good to you. So stick with it. Stick with them. One day you'll be able to you'll be able to receive it. You just got to get used to it. Remember, you're not uh, y- y- used to it. Um, you're not familiar with it yet. So just like it took time to get familiar with the trauma and the toxicity. It's going to take some time to get familiar with the red flags and the tranquil, I mean, not the red flags, with the green flags and the tranquility, you know, and the peace and the love. Um, Yeah, so it's just like, honestly, at this point, fuck it. What do you have to lose? Literally, fuck it. What do you have to lose? Let yourself be loved. Seriously, life is too short. You're not getting any younger. You know, you're not getting any younger. Let yourself be loved. Let yourself be loved. There's enough hate. There's enough toxicity in this world. Y'all know how Earth is. Earth is full of low vibrations. (laughs) Earth is full of low vibrations. (laughs) Earth can be so annoying. So let yourself be loved. There's enough tragedy out there. You know, you're going to experience tragedy because that's just life. Why add on to that by experiencing tragedy in romantic relationships? You know, I'm like, there's already going to be tragedy anyways. You know, don't add more on. Um, There's going to be tragedy anyways. All you got to do is turn on the news. All you got to do is wait till election time. You know, tragedy is going to happen. Don't add more 
onto yourself. And obviously it is easier said and done feelings wise. Um, however, you just got to stick with it. Give it a month, give it two, three months. You will end up being used to the tranquility and the love that you deserve and that you are worth. Okay. Excuse me, not the love that you deserve because deserving is earned. Love is and I mean, excuse me, deserving is earned. Worth is given because there's value, period. You know, because a lot of people don't believe that they deserve love. You're right. Because you are worth love. You don't got to, you don't got to be perfect to be worth love. So with that being said, give, give, if that person is trying to love you, genuinely trying to love you, and you know they're a green flag, sometimes you know it's a green flag, folks, when you're afraid of it, when it's safe. That is a good telltale, um, is when there's that uncomfortable feeling. So, yeah. Let yourself be loved. Let that person love you. Give it at least three months. Give your, get, excuse me, not it. Give yourself three months to let that person love you. And then you can make a decision on, okay, you know, I'm still afraid and that fear is crippling me. Or I'm afraid, but I'm learning. Or I'm afraid, but I'm growing. I'm afraid, but I'm slowly getting used to the tranquility. There you go. Give it some time. Don't, don't, don't rush it and don't, you know, deuces before you even give yourself a chance to be loved. Um, yeah. Um, if you know someone that's struggling with this or if you're struggling with this or if this is just an encouragement, go ahead and share this episode with somebody. Somebody needs to hear it because someone's going to miss out on the person of their dreams because of fear you know you're worth the love folks and that's facts and this episode is over